Hello dear viewers this is Anshika joining me today are the little geniuses of Navrachna School Varodhra they are the winners and runner ups of the Macmillan Budding Scientist competition would you all please introduce yourselves greetings to everyone i am vidita nayak from class 7 of navrachna school varodhra i am a voracious reader and i'm also very fond of music uh, hello everyone i am shipra pradeep uh, i am a student of class 8 I also love reading and I enjoy sports such as cycling and swimming. Hello everyone, I'm Arav Mehta from Navrishna School Sabha. I also love reading and I love to play cricket. Okay, first of all I would like to ask you guys about the experience of working on the project and then getting mentored by IITians. How was the whole process? The like pro- uh, project making process was awesome. Like we had a great time working together. and giving all our opinions and integrating them into one project yeah it was a long process uh, a process that was over 6 months i think and so it was just all small steps and small victories that led to this huge one and uh, we had our ups and downs but at the end we emerged victorious so the advice given by the iit judges also proved to be very useful to us We worked our hardest to integrate that also into our project. Good morning, everyone. We are a group of students from Navrishna Higher Secondary School. I am Vidita Nayak. I am Shubhra Pradeep. And I am Arun Shah. We conducted a survey, and we found that over eighty percent of people are annoyed by all the noise produced on the roads, and over eighty-five percent want a way that would remedy this problem. So here we have created a solution. We are going to make noise barriers from recycled rubber. Now this has a number of benefits. It's eco-friendly, sustainable, and rubber is a great absorber of noise. So this is the prototype we have made, and as you can see, there are vehicles on the road. So we will test how this works. This is rubber type A, this is rubber type B, and that is rubber type C. And there is a buzzer which will produce the sound. We are going to record uh, the noise by the noise meter, and we are going to record it on the paper. First off, we are going to record the noise without the noise barriers. As you can see, we have recorded the results for fifteen seconds. We are going to do this with each of the rubbers. We'll record the results again. We are now done with our experiment. Our experiment has shown that rubber type A had an average of eighty-six decibels per second. Rubber type B had an average of eighty-one decibels per second, whereas rubber type C had an average of eighty-three decibels. Per What interested you guys to make a model on this specific topic about noise pollution? So generally, air pollution and water pollution are the topics everyone focuses on, and there are presently a lot of solutions for them. But noise pollution is a field that is relatively untouched. and we found that though there were people problem no one was stepping forward to solve it so that is one of the reasons we were attracted to this topic yes and to uh, cement the problem to see if others were facing the problem as well we conducted a survey and that really motivated us and uh, that shone a light on how much noise actually affects people in everyday life and so those are a few things that motivated us to take up this topic 
हाँ सो इट मेड एस थॉट लाइक आर प्रोजेक्ट इज एक्चुअली इट विल हेल्प समवन इन द फ्यूचर That's wonderful. I'm sure you guys must have learned a lot about teamwork through this entire experience. How was the work divided amongst all of you? Um, we did not have any specific roles for each person. Uh, we just mostly worked as a team. Uh, although I would say Ara was mostly research oriented. Uh, Vidita and me shared uh, roles of um, uh, I would say making the project and then other specifics. And Ara was our research connoisseur. I would say. and even though like we had specific areas sometimes they would help me with the research and i would help them in the project yeah, yeah. all all the things we did overlapped into each other yes so we all helped each other out in each aspect of the project yes so there must have been countless experiments to finally make the project work right so when you guys worked through something and that actually didn't turn out so well and you guys were feeling demotivated what pushed you forward um actually we faced that situation many times uh, as we take readings with our uh, uh, with our noise barriers so many times that they would differ sometimes and so that would demotivate us but i would say that uh, the victories that we had already had our past victories and knowing that our project is actually good and will make an impact was something that motivated us to keep going also we our project was based on scientific theories and we had belief that they will not fail us and that is what encouraged us to keep going and try each time wonderful can i just have a quick brief explanation of how the model works so we have a model of a road and a house and many people experience a lot of noise coming from the traffic beside the road which is why we made recycled rubber sheets as noise barriers and these sheets were also obtained from local industries and at a very cost effective rate they uh yes um so basically we targeted highways and railways and noise barriers are an uh, effective and widely used solution although not in india but in other countries and noise barriers are usually made from materials such as glass wood or concrete metals which have various disadvantages and so we wanted to look for a material that was sustainable and eco friendly and also cost effective and so we came upon recycled rubber and do like recycled rubber has cons but they are like you know negligible like they can be like you know uh, we can do something to prevent it the pros far outweigh the cons because our material is very durable as well it's one of the fundamental qualities of rubber and rubber is an extremely good sound absorber and the cons we've actually found workable solutions to counter them so thus recycled rubber appeared to us the perfect solution yes and so we did countless testings we did countless experiments with the different types of rubbers as well we visited a rubber recycling unit we also uh, visited a professor of architecture at a local university and basically there was a lot of research and experimentation that went into this project and, and that it was also a very scalable project that could reach great heights and after all our testings we actually found that recycled rubber was the best Okay so throughout this entire experience after everything was finally over the results came out what is something you guys have learned through this experience so i learned a lot about science and about research but i also met a lot of new people and we went to two places pavai mumbai and delhi and the experiences that we had there they were an invaluable learning experience aside from all the research based knowledge that we gained so i feel that was a very big teacher uh i felt from the experience is how much we got to learn at each stage and how much our project improved after each stage uh starting from when it was first conceived as a uh, as a idea in our mind to where it reached at the final round it was an evolution that had many stages and it uh, actually completely i would say took a new path and uh, it's a 100% better now and i feel like that is what constructive criticism can do for uh, 
for things like this. And so I feel the criticism that was there and then also the support that we received was something that was uh, a really good experience for us to have. And also, apart from our research and scientific knowledge, we also got tips on how to present our idea. And like from the judges over uh, this, uh, at the last stage, we also got a lot of things that how we can still improvise our project. So. So it taught us that there's always room for improvement. Yeah. Well said. So um, I'm a sort of a person who can do her individual work excellently, but whenever I'm set to function as a team, I always mess that up. And you guys are performing as a team over here. So were there any disagreements? And if there were, how did you guys solve it? Uh, so yes, we did have disagreements, as I think every team has. Uh, but we worked through them. And then at the end, I think we, we, we became really good friends. Uh, we did have disagreements, we did have um, fights, and but we learned to work through it all and then come to a point on which everybody agrees. And there was a lot of, uh, I would say, sacrifice also involved, but then that's a part of being a team. And I feel at the end, with everyone's input, it could have been, it was better than it could ever have been with only one of us working on it. And we also learned how to accept each other's opinions. <laughs> And sometimes when the fights got too much, uh, Sudha ma'am broke in between us and helped us understand each other's point of view. So <laughs> it all worked out. Yeah, Sudha ma'am was an intervention we really needed. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in mind the next time I work in a team. <laughs> so there must have been many funny, hilarious moments when you guys were working on the project, right? Are there any such moments which you guys will always cherish in your memories? Uh, so, um, one of the things I will always remember is the after winning, we all felt so much joy and we reveled in that joy. And that is one of the best experiences of my life. We so also, I think, uh, after winning, we were so relieved and uh, yeah, we were relieved because this was a uh, this was hard work over six months and so we tore up our scripts and it was raining that day and so we tore up our scripts and then threw it out into the rain to um, end it as like in a culminating moment. Of, uh, like, and we actually enjoyed that. And um, I think this was the first time you guys were also performing in such a project. So there must have been some performance anxiety or nervousness. How did you guys come over it? Um, the thing is, uh, me and Vidita are actually, we are good public speakers. We do lots of, uh, we have been to lots of competitions and we've been to, uh, I have been to extemporary competitions and that's sort of a field that we excel in. And so for us, speaking on a stage was kind of second nature. But Arav, I would say, improved a lot over the course of six months. And I'll let Arav share his experience. Actually, like, it was not like I've never spoken in public before. I do have many times. So, still, but at the starting, for I had not practiced, like, I had not spoken in a lot of people for a long time. So, at the starting of the project, when we were practicing our, uh, practicing our scripts, we actually, I actually improvised a lot on my speech. That's great. Thank you, guys. It was lovely talking to you and I feel very relaxed and I'll keep the teamwork motto in mind. <laughs>